I'm Ron Dolman, and thanks for the opportunity to talk about the trial. For decades, it's been apparent that uh, patients with uh, diabetes have a lower burden of abdominal aortic aneurysm disease. More recently, it's also become apparent that some of that may be due to medications they're taking for diabetes, and the most likely uh, agent uh, to have that effect would be metformin. Well, metformin has a long track record of safety and efficacy. Uh, tens of millions of people take metformin every day. It's available as a generic tablet. Uh, cost in Europe is uh, 10 cents per pill, 10, you know, one-tenth of a euro, something like that. Um, it's very well tolerated. Uh, and, you know, uh, in this, it's difficult to make an asymptomatic patient better. And so you want a treatment that's not going to be very onerous and not be very high risk, relatively inexpensive, easy to take. And Metformin checks all those boxes. So there's our trial. It's called LIMIT. Uh, prospective randomized level one placebo controlled blinded trial. Uh, it's sponsored by the National Institutes of Health primarily. Uh, there's also a trial in Sweden which is an open label trial uh, which is now extended to a multinational trial. They're enrolling in uh, the Netherlands and uh, uh, one other country in Europe I think. And the trial in Australia is a little different because there are larger aneurysms. Endpoint is prevention of rupture, surgical repair, so it's a much bigger uh, sample size uh, to get the power necessary. But they're all um, complementary in that they're constructed slightly differently, but they're all looking at the same agent. So ideally, you know, all three, when complete, will provide a more comprehensive picture of the potential benefit for metformin in these patients. Now, there's many patients who, you know, might benefit based on their age or other comorbidities by delaying surgery or potentially avoiding surgery, but uh, more uh, kind of effectively, I think, you know, when, it, when we first meet patients with small aneurysms, often it's an awkward conversation. What do I do? Just wait until next year to get an ultrasound and see. This gives us an opportunity to provide some type of active management option that may change their trajectory of their disease. But also, if metformin works in this application, it may also work in secondary uh, treatment after patients had endografting to reduce the need for secondary procedures for endoleaks, for you know, graft migration, aneurysm enlargement. It could be a variety of applications, both as a de novo treatment as well as an adjunctive treatment following surgery. Here is something that could be a complement to surgical management, both you know, before, during, or after uh, surgical intervention. I want to just kind of reinforce the idea that this would be the first uh, medical treatment ever shown to have any efficacy for uh, managing aneurysm disease. And for my colleagues in the United States, you have an opportunity to uh, have your patients potentially enroll in this trial. We're enrolling nationally. And if anyone's interested in, in learning more about the trial, uh, just reach out to me. Uh, my email address is rld at stanford.edu.